Hello again and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a first impressions of the Caveco Calligraphy nibs. I've actually been interested in trying them and I believe this is kind of similar to Caveco's version of a stub nib. I had seen this kit before but I didn't realize there were four nibs included. I am actually really surprised by that. It does come with a 1.1, 1 1.5, 1 1.9, and a 2.3 sized nib. Right away you can definitely see the differences in between the, the nibs. This is not the standard nib. Here it is comparing it to my medium sized nib in my Sage Caveco and you can clearly see that flat top. I have absolutely no experience with stub nibs or calligraphy nibs at all. So this is my first time really using it and I'm already loving the 1.1. To be honest, I was going to see if I could just purchase one nib separately or even just get a Caveco pen and get it with one of these nibs. I wasn't expecting to get a full set, but I had a gift card, so I decided to purchase the set and I am not disappointed, but I was going to start off with a 1.5 because I wasn't I wasn't sure exactly where the widths were with the nibs. And I'm already just like here, the 1.5 I think is already just too wide for me. I am i don't really see how to use it properly and I think I just need to practice with it. And of course, as we move further down and the sizes get wider, it gets a little bit more tricky to use. So I'm not really sure on techniques yet, but I am hoping to kind of change that and learn how to use each of these nibs. But I have a feeling it is going to be tricky. One of my favorite things about this set is that each of the nibs come in their own grip section. So that just means that I do not have to replace each nib when I want to use them. Uh, I just have to insert that grip section or I can even put these grip sections into other pen bodies that I have. It would be mix match, but that is okay. It does make switching between the nibs much easier. And as you can see, I was already having some issues using the 1.9 nib, so I did not have high hopes for the 2.3, but still it is very interesting to see how these nibs work compared to the standard nibs. And what I did not show you on camera is when I tried to use the nib caps on the already used nibs and ink kind of splattered everywhere and I was having so much trouble getting the 2.3 nib working. It just was not flowing for me and again I have no techniques so I just was not sure on how to properly use this nib. Please let me know if you have any tips or tricks when it comes to these calligraphy nibs. Uh, again, this is my first time using them. I have no idea what I'm doing, as you can see, but I am really excited about it. I just, I'm not sure why the 2.3 just was not working for me. I it was having, it was more than just a hard start. It just was not flowing properly. I did return to the 1.1, which is the one I think I'm going to be focusing on when I'm using this, but I do hope to learn how to use the other sizes just because it's so unique and different and again I didn't realize how many different nib sizes there were. And please let me know if there is a difference between a stub nib and a calligraphy nib. I again am a novice when it comes to this style of nib, but I was really hoping to get a Caveco stub nib, which is why when I saw this calligraphy kit I just kind of jumped at the chance at testing it out. I do kind of want to try out an Estherbrook stub nib, but um, that may be something that will wait while I, you know, learn how to use this new set. But let me know if you have a preference of stub nibs or if you've never tried a stub nib. I'm just so curious about it now. I just immediately started researching because it's it's been on my list to kind of get one and try it out. And this set just kind of fell into my lap when I went into drum goals. So, and now that I'm looking at Estherbrook stub nibs, it made me want to try out the custom journaler nib that I purchased a while back, and maybe I'll do an update video on that sometime soon. I am excited to learn more techniques when it comes to using the calligraphy nibs. I'm glad that Caveco has something like this. I've noticed that these nibs also have a bit more flex to them, and I would love it if Caveco had a proper flex nib. I still have yet to find a really good flex nib. My Conklin All-American Flex, OmniFlex I think, is pretty good, but 
I think I messed it up when I was doing a work project, so now I may need to get a replacement for that nib. I think I was a bit too excited to test out these nibs, but I didn't really show what else came in the kit. Packaged in a large tin, which I would probably use for more storage, this kit also includes two packages of cartridges in the pearl black ink and three nib caps. I've actually never seen these caps before, so I was a little confused about what they were for, but I'm actually storing the extra nibs with the caps on them to keep them from getting damaged. I'm also very excited to try out different ink colors with these nibs. I went with the black ink now just so it can match the pen, and I do not have a black of Echo in my collection, so I was very happy that I was able to add a new color to my collection. That's all I really wanted to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will catch you in the next one.